Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will learn about lazy lists in Jetpack Compose. And before that, I would like to say, guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel if you want to learn Kotlin Jetpack Compose and draw it. So okay, yeah, let's start with that. So uh, as of now, we have learned about if you want to learn about the basic things in Jetpack Compose, you can check out my previous videos on Jetpack Compose. There we have covered some basic things and how to create a first tab with login screen as well. So yeah, let's continue with now lazy list. So in the previous videos, so you have learned about column there. So let's say if we have a list of items and if and we want to display them, right? We have a list of items, we want to display them. So we can use column for that for sure and make it vertical using modifier dot vertical scroll remember vertical remember scroll state because by default co uh, column does not remember scroll state if it will not remember scroll state how it will know that he needs to scroll right if you want to make column uh, scrollable we need to apply this modifier right and then we need uh, some items there like list of items there that we can do using for loop or let's say just for example uh, as of now we are just taking simple text just for example let's say users and let's take scissor fun or we can as of now just take test user right and let's control with this will be a lot of users there right this is just for example but we can do this using for loop as well so let's run this first and let's see then I will tell you like why we should not use column and we should use lazy column. Those are lazy lists. Similarly for row we can use lazy row. So today we will learn about lazy row and lazy column. Yeah, here it goes. So let's give it some alignment and arrangement vertical arrangement let's say arrangement dot top let's say we are assigning it to top and then it's horizontal alignment let's take it in center right center horizontally right and we need to apply fill max width as well fill max oops width yeah, here it goes so if you have noticed what it's doing so what 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 column do is it it renders all the items let's say we have hundred thousand items it will it will render all the items at the same times right it will load all the items but and that that is very costly in jetpack compose that will cause compositions there are many right so instead of uh, for large number of records if you want to display a large number of records then we can use lazy column so lazy column what it will do is and here we can take items method let's say we want to display 15 and same record let's 
let's run it first Oops, some crash is there let's see what it's saying yeah uh, in legi column we don't need to uh, apply this You see, let's increase to 35, right? Uh, let's start with 45. You see, it's scrollable now, right? So, so uh, I was talking about column and legi column. So, legi column only renders these uh, items which are currently visible, but not. Let's say if uh, there are that. 35 or 30 items are visible it will only render them it will compose them not these items which were below that it will after when it will come here and then if we scroll then it will render only those items not not in the beginning but in column what was happening column was rendering all the items let's say we have thousands or so all those items will be rendered initially so that 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 will be costly and that is very slow that's why we take Legi column, so legi column, so legi initialization, it involves legi initialization, so only when the screen will be visible on the screen, so sorry, items will be visible on the screen, then it will load them, or renders them, or we can say compose them, so yeah, this is about uh, column and legi column, but let's say, uh, just, we want to create a simple layout here, we will use card here, and use shape rounded corner shape let's say 15 dot dp right and then let's say inside card what we are using is we are using a row you will, you will be creating just a simple uh, user kind of layout so now we will be uh, for the items method index variable is also provided there so that it will provide the index of the list so for if we want to like show a user then we can pick up this index as well for counting one two three four so yeah so in the row let's say we have first of all a text will be there right let's say text is user dollar index we want two three four five it will be like that and before that let's take a image here enter resource will be there auto travel dot dummy image is there that we will be using then uh, let's first try to run it then we will improve its layout some error is there that is due to content description we can set it as empty as of now yeah and now let's just uh, modify it somehow like it it looks good so let's add some padding there or we can instead of row we can apply padding to the card modifier padding let's say 16 dot dp Yeah, now padding is there and now let's make it and make it fill max width as well 
by default it will only wrap according to the content now it's there it looks good now here we have image let's apply some padding on the image as well so that it will look good what about our padding 16.tp Yeah, now if you see it looks good and let's align now text text is we need to align it in center right so how we can do that we need to apply vertical alignment in the row because we are using rows for vertical alignment in the row we need vertical alignment for aligning the items vertical so it will be like horizontal center vertically looks good now so let's reduce padding to 18 dp sorry not this one but this one because now 18 and 18 and 18 it will become 16 right so basically we can apply it padding let's say pick up this one in the start we want 16 to tp in the end we want 16 dot dp then in the top we want 8 similarly in the bottom we want 8 right let's run it yeah and now let's say if here outside the content we can apply content padding attribute is there that is used for applying the padding uh, around the content so content is all the items in the list right so it will apply padding there padding values so let's say we want to apply a dot dps Yeah, now supply it there if you check it now it this padding is equal between the items right it looks good and now we can avoid we can we can apply this padding to it because it will be used by this so it we will use around all the content around all the content looks good now right so yeah this, this is about lazy column so lazy column have performance advantages over the lazy row and now let's say uh, so inside the lazy column we can use uh, multiple uh, lazy list scope items as well so lazy list scope is the scope of the items which we can use in the lazy lists right so item is the method inside the lazy list scope Similarly, for single item, we can use item method there. Yeah, you can see. And then, uh, let's say we just want to give some heading here. We can use that heading as well. Let's say if we want to give some heading here list of users yeah you can see that is available here and similarly let's say if you don't want to do this but here if you want if, if you want to use some uh, two two lists will be there one list is this and then we can use horizontal list as well for that we can use lazy row here I think that, let's skip that that we will cover in separate 
video so similarly this is this is about uh, lazy columns where in the similar pattern we can use lazy row right that will be the same items everything will be the same so it, it's very they are very identical so what will what will be the change there so it will be only like alignment it it, it align items vertically and if we use lazy row it will align items horizontally right so this is about uh, lazy lists in uh, jetpack compose so yeah this is about lazy list so we learned about like how how lazy list improve performance as compared to the normal like column and row so lazy column and lazy row are has performance advantages over column and row so because they are loading the items lazily right so usually we use this lazy column uh, lazy column and lazy row for the like where we need a large number of items are there we need to display them so we prefer them so this is about this is all about lazy list in jetpack compose and uh, if you, i hope you have liked the video and uh, you have understood the basic, what are the basic basic differences between uh, what are the basic differences between like column and lazy column and similarly row versus lazy row and in, and in the coming videos we will be uh, covering the lazy uh, grids as well and we will be uh, making more complex uh, designs there so, so that it will become clear to like you guys like how we can make complex layouts in jetpack compose so this is all about lazy lists i hope you guys have liked the video so if you like the video you can share it and also you can leave in the comments if you want tutorials on some topics in jetpack compose and i will be covering all the topics of jetpack compose in the coming videos stay tuned and let's say uh, see you in the next video till then bye bye take care keep coding Thank you.